Welcome back to Teshkid FX for another HBAR price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the HBAR chart which at the time of this recording has lost a key area of support at around the 0.0566 dollar mark. We are also holding below the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart which is now acting as resistance. We have also managed to get into this yellow target area which lies between the FIB level 0.5 and the FIB level 0.78 which is a mini minimum retracement area to the lower side in the formation of this higher ad 12 count 2 and before i get further into the technical analysis and also give you my breakdown targets here on the h bar chart first give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and allow me to first give you a quick recap of what has been happening where you can see that after making our lower low at around the 0.0356 dollar mark we started this massive bounce to the upper side of being the ad 12 structures where i have this ad 12 structure in yellow having that is the first wave then a wave two a wave three a wave four and then a wave five giving us a peak at around the 0.0986 dollar mark and after seeing the formation of this wave five we completed an even larger edu 12 count one to the upper side and after seeing the formation of a larger edu 12 count one whatever we expected next was a corrective structure to the lower side in the formation of a larger edu 12 count two and using the Fibonacci is connecting them from the low of the first wave down there to the high of that first wave to the upper side, I was able to come up with a minimum retracement area to the lower side in the formation of this higher ad 12 count 2 between the Fib level 0.5 and the Fib level 0.78, which is a target area that lies between the 0.0674 dollar mark and the 0.0494 dollar mark. And it is within this yellow target area down here that I'm expecting to see the low for that higher ad 12 count 2. And and since we have lost the FIB level 0.618 and we have continued to see the breakdown to the lower side in a move that has now given us a break below our key area of support at around the 0.0566 dollar mark, then there are chances that the breakdown might continue to the next key area on the Fibonacci, which is the FIB level 0.78 and that is at around the 0.0494 dollar mark. So that is the next area that we need to continue watching here on the HBAR chart provided that the breakdown continues to the lower side and also using the ABC corrective structure because we also expected to see an ABC corrective structure also play out in the formation of that higher ad 12 count 2 and I believe we are seeing such a scenario over here having this as the wave A then a wave B then the wave C is what should give us the low for that higher ad 12 count 2 and also fully maximize our minimum target areas and using the trend based Fibonacci connecting it from the high of that with A to the low of that with A, then dragging the FIBs to the high of that with B, I was able to come up with a minimum target area to the lower side in the formation of that with C at the FIB level 1.618 and that is at around the 0.06 dollar mark which is a target area that we have fully maximized and because the breakdown here on the H bar chart is still continuing we need to respect that and also ignore first the FIB level 1.618 and say that there are chances of still seeing one more leg down in the formation of that with C to fully maximize our minimum target areas. And I think within this yellow target area that would be another perfect entry to get back into H bar so that we can be able to ride this massive bounce to the upper side in the formation of this higher ad 12 count 3. And that is not financial advice and that is what I'm expecting here on the short term scenarios and those are my breakdown targets here on the H bar chart. And before I give you the long term scenarios that I'm expecting to play out, we can first take a look at the indicators where on the RSI you can see we are trading at around the 29 mark, meaning we are just about to get into the oversight region here on the RSI. Also taking a look at the MACD we have been able to print a bearish cross suggesting that there are chances that the breakdown to the lower side uh, might continue and jumping to the daily chart for further analysis and also give you the long term scenarios that I'm expecting to play out basing it on the ad 12 structures you can see that H bar from these low prices that we had been trading within we saw that massive bounce to the upper side seeing the all time high at around the 0.58 dollar mark in what I'm terming as that first wave to the upper side and and after seeing the autumn high we started the bear market where we had been seeing no prices in this ABC corrective structure in a move that gave us a low at around the 0.0356 dollar mark in what I'm terming as the low for that higher ad 12 count 2 and after seeing the low for that second wave whatever we expect on the long term scenarios is the start of an impulsive wave to the upper side in the formation of this wave 3 where I have minimum target areas the FIB level 1.618 and that is at around the 0.9768 dollar mark and that is the minimum that I'm expecting expecting HBAR to do here on the long term scenarios. So let's be patient and see how that plays out and I'll be keeping you updated.